interesting. It's modern contemporary artwork and design. It's something which, well, it looks like it's aging a bit, but it's stylish, it fits in. Well, that over there is the brand new Audi A3 sedan. It's a compact, elegant, stylish sedan. I think it's at the pinnacle of design within that segment. And next to it, I brought the third generation, the older car as well, just to get a feel for what they've done here, where they've gone and how they've modernized it. You can see it's more evolution rather than revolution, but you can see how they've enhanced the lines, the styling, the larger grille, the improved alloy wheels, this S-line pack, the interior trim, the options, the details. You can see what they've done here. Let's get behind the wheel of the new one now and talk about some of the differences, spend a bit of time exploring the latest generation. Audi A3 sedan. Dressed in its Manhattan grey metallic paint scheme, on the outside you'll notice the sharper, more enhanced lines, very much in keeping with the modern day Audi family lineup. What you'll also notice right away with this A3, or especially when you're out here on the road driving it, around here, congested city streets, or more or less all over open country roads, is overall the way that it just feels that bit more smooth, more premium. You can feel that they've really notched things up. Now, it's partially because it is a bit bigger body. It's wider, it's longer, and overall the dimensions have grown a little bit, as have most modern cars. And what this gives you is a much more premium executive feel. So when you're driving it, it's just got a much more spacious, airy feel than even that of its predecessor. You can also notice when you're driving it, that it's got a more premium feel. It feels like the gearbox is just that much more worked on. This 1.4 litre motor denoted by the Audi 35 TFSI badge on the back delivers 110 kilowatts, 250 newton meters of torque. But it's not about immediacy or about being sporty so much as rather just being smooth and really feeling premium. The suspension is supple, it irons out the bumps on the road you can feel how it communicates with you in the corners and you can really feel that this is a truly premium luxury compact sedan here. And when I compare it even to that of its predecessor, which I spent a lot of time driving, I really can tell you that what they've done here is evolved what was, in my opinion, a fantastic product from the brand. Even the predecessor is still a great looking vehicle and it still drives incredibly well, but with this latest one, you can feel Audi have just taken it back, sharpened everything up, and it means an overall better drive, overall more premium finishes, and it simply edges it into another category in terms of what it offers. This particular car, the 35 TFSI, comes in just a smidge over 600,000 Rand. And I think that's pretty fair, it's in line with its competitors within this sort of segment, we're talking the likes of the Mercedes-Benz A-Class sedan or CLA for instance. Well, there's a bunch of them out there that more or less sit within this price category and segment of vehicle. But the thing is, Audi have never been shy when it comes to options and spec sheets. And even while we're motoring along here, I'm not going to read it now, but there's quite a bunch of them on here. You want these powered multi-adjustable sport line seats. They look fantastic, they feel great but it's an optional extra and it's going to cost you quite a bit. The upgraded sporty alloy wheels, the fancy virtual cockpit system here, or the upgraded one and the upgraded MMI, they all are incredibly nice to have features which are offered in this latest generation A3, but they do notch the price up a bit. But still, if we ignore all of that, you are getting a seriously premium car here that really can show off with the best of them. And I really am enjoying the drive. Finally, in conclusion, I've spent some time driving it. What are my overall impressions of this latest generation A3? Well, in this modern motoring landscape and world in which we live, everyone seems to opt for compact crossovers, SUVs, that kind of style of vehicle. 
and really if like me you enjoy a well-built premium sedan or saloon then I think this A3 is going to really appeal to you as it does to me because I still think there's something special about a sedan profile particularly one as good looking as this and one which rolls so many features into the overall package. If you want a vehicle which looks the part, drives incredibly well, has all the features and is simply premium and has notched the game up many many steps over that of its predecessors and in my opinion over a lot of its competition out there then this Audi A3 is a great choice to go for. From me Jason of Technobock, until next time I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now.